so good for your heart and for your brain and for your sanity. I will say sometimes I walk this fine line of cutting myself off from the world. Like I'll want to shut everything down and just go off into myself. And I feel like when you're dealing with heartbreak, you don't want to go into that mode where you just stop talking to people because you need other people, I think, to walk beside you, especially through hard times. I think it is important to have some alone time, but in my personal experience, there are times when I feel so trapped in my own head that my thoughts just kind of get to me and I go kind of crazy. So I think you have to kind of set a balance. I think a long time is necessary. Um, I have a couple friends right now who are going through like big breakups, like they've been with their significant other for a really long time. I try to say like, you should enjoy this time, like especially because they've never really been on their own. Um, I think it can be like so nice. I mean, obviously once you break up, it's awful, but then once you kind of get into the swing of doing things on your own, I think a long time is necessary. In the past, when I've dealt with just heartbreak and being really sad, staying really active. I feel like it helped me process what I was going through more because it just like, I don't know man, exercise, it gets uncomfortable and it makes all those feelings just bubble to the surface. And so yeah, I can confidently say I've cried more than once in yoga class. Sometimes I like to dance. Anything that revolves around music, that's what really like gets me exercising and gets me going. And I just like feel happier. So I really feel like the Legally Blonde quote is right. That they give you endorphins and then you're happy and then you don't kill your husband. <laughs> to be honest, I don't really exercise when I'm going through everything <laughs> because it's hard. Like, how would I put myself through something else that's really hard when I'm already going through something hard? The last time I went through a breakup, my friends were really helpful. I can't tell you how much it like helped me get over it. I think that being with friends is like one of the most important things that you should do when going through heartbreak because it's really the only type of people that you should be with. I know that when I've gone through breakups before, like heartbreak, that diving back into the things that I love has really been like what has saved me because it's so easy to just like wallow in your misery and just eat all of the food and stay on the couch the whole day. to drive all of my emotions into my work, whether that be doing YouTube stuff, uh, creating like sketches. Actually, I started my YouTube channel through my last heartbreak. I just needed something to like throw myself into and I had friends that did it and I watched a lot of it and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna do it. So I went and I bought a nice camera and I just did it. Hard. I feel bad for everyone like dating nowadays because I think that social media can add so much stress especially to a breakup because you're able to just like go and essentially stalk that person and see like do they look happy without me are they laughing like are they going out with friends you're able to see everything that they're doing so why are you exposing yourself to that and letting your heart feel all these painful feelings that it doesn't have to feel. If your breakup was messy, they're posting things to get to you. Like, and you have to be aware of that. Sometimes it's better to just unfollow, turn off your phone, and just walk away. You do not need to see that.